This is a summary of ClearCut from 1991, meant to assist those who are visually impaired or don't have time to watch the whole movie. Let's begin. Peter Maguire, a lawyer from Toronto who is representing a group of Aboriginal Canadians over a land dispute with a logging company arrives to the scene of the logging on a float plane. He lands just as a large violent protest is ongoing between law enforcement and protesters who are attempting to stop logging equipment from beginning their deforestation work. Peter informs the band council leader, Wilf, that he intends to file an appeal immediately and leaves to go do so. Peter then comes face to face with Bud Ricketts, the manager of the mill and logging company, who he asks to suspend logging operations until he can file his appeal. Ricketts refuses Peter's request. The next day Peter goes to meet with Wilf, who invites him to take part in a spiritual sweat lodge ceremony. Peter agrees, and during the ceremony experiences a hallucination where he foresees the damage done to the land by the clear-cutting operations. As blood pours from the ravaged earth, Peter screams, and the ceremony ends. Peter is then introduced to Arthur, an indigenous man, who he jokes with saying that they should kidnap and skin Bud Ricketts alive for his part in the logging. Later that night, Arthur comes to Peter's hotel room, saying that they should go and do exactly as they had said earlier and kidnap Ricketts. Peter follows Arthur, not quite sure whether he is serious or not. As they pull up to a gas station where Ricketts is filling up his car, Arthur threatens Peter and then crashes his truck into Ricketts' car and kidnaps him. Arthur then restrains Peter and Ricketts and brings them back to Wilf, who says that someone must pay for what is happening to the land. Arthur then brings the two men into the woods. The next day, Peter wakes up to the sound of Ricketts' screams, as Arthur is skinning one of his legs, saying that this is how the trees feel when his company does the same to them. Peter pleads with Arthur to stop torturing Ricketts and to let them go. Arthur then runs off, and Peter follows him, finding Wilf sitting at a fire and seeing two police officers coming to get them. As the officers grab Peter, Arthur shoots one in the head and attacks the other with a club. Wilf responds to this by saying someone had to pay. Arthur then takes Peter and Ricketts to another island, where he constructs a makeshift sweat lodge. Arthur, Peter, and Ricketts then all take part in the ceremony. Arthur chants and cuts off one of his fingers. Afterwards, Arthur takes Ricketts to the top of a cliff overlooking the forest. Peter grabs Ricketts and attempts to escape, hitting Arthur with a piece of wood. The two men fight until Peter grabs Arthur's gun and attempts to shoot him, but the gun is out of bullets. Arthur then walks into the water and sinks under the surface until he disappears. Peter and Ricketts return back to the town with Wilf where they are apprehended by the police, who ask where Arthur is. Peter responds saying that he drowned, but he could be back. This brings us to the end of the story. If you have any suggestions for future movies, please leave them in the comments. Until next time, have a nice day.